Hello everybody, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard on a finely tempered day. I've got some leftover paint. I've got a dog disturbed by the other dog is having too much fun, so he's jealous and you can hear him barking in the background. I've got edge catchers with beautiful inspiring colors on them, so I'm planning on using some of those. Here's a piece of refuse that I sometimes will use as a reservoir for colors. Right now I'm going to use it to hold my dustpan. I'm going to put my glasses on. I have, and standing by, a black, pre-primed, dry, 12 by 24 inch canvas. Now, whatever comes out, whatever is at the front will come out first, whatever is in the back will come out last. So I want some color that I really want to come out last. So I'm going to try and think about it just exactly that way. And I'm just going to keep adding colors I find beautiful until I run out of colors I find beautiful, and that's not going to happen. By any way, shape, or form. I'm using some white pearl instead of white. I often will do something like go in from the back instead of just lining them on the front. They will line up nicely if I'm clever. I would like to fill my entire dustpan. Whenever I add a stream of color that isn't in a line like these layers, I get an interesting pattern on the surface. So that pleases me greatly. I don't know what that pink and that blue will do together at all, but that pink makes a lot of things sell, or a lot of things make that pink sell. And where the other? Go in there. Don't want you out the front. I haven't used any orange yet, and I like orange and pink together. If I want it spread throughout, I'm going to have to layer it right on top. I haven't put any yellow in there. That is a color shift paint from Folk Art that is a minty green, and I like to use it with the green gold. I don't know what I'm going to get. I said that before, I'm pretty sure. I do want some more gold in there, which I actually like next to the green gold as well. I had some black going on. I'd like some turquoise if I can get it out. If I have a skewer with a pointy end, I can do that fairly easily. haven't used nearly enough purple. I can see that. Well, there's never a time when I use enough purple, so. I'm getting pretty close to something that I like. I think that might be, is it a color shift? No, that's a cobalt. I just started using cobalt recently, and I love it. And this is a color shift that's very similar to that cobalt. And what I like is to use some darker purple when I get a chance. And I'm going to use my white pearl the same way as I dribbled my black. I'm getting very close to being full. I want some gold. That's yellow. <laughs> Right back you go. I wonder if I could go a little, yeah, I could go a little taller. What can I use to do that with? I don't know. Well, maybe I'll just take a chance. What have I got? I need a shim. <laughs> I got nothing for shims. That's not going to help. There we go. Come on. Behave. Up you come. Come on. Really? That much trouble. All right, so now I have some more paint in there, but I'm going to have to be very cautious. And I'm going to throw 
some of that Prussian blue in there. <coughs> Excuse me. And some of my very metallic magenta. And the purple. And my color shift turquoise is always a good thing. And I'll throw the last little bit of whatever I'm going to throw in there. Pink goes really well, in my opinion, with orange. I did not use nearly enough red, and I am at capacity. That's a nice magenta red. Actually, that's a magenta. Where is my red? Here's my red. That is a magenta red. All right, so we don't know what we're going to get because I went all over the place. But I am going to try and leave myself enough room. And I'm going to lift this up in my hand and keep it steady. And I'm throwing stuff everywhere. That's my crib sheet. Looks like I got a little touch up to do on this canvas already. I said I was going to dump this other paint right in here. And so I am. Um, wasting paint and I don't think I'm going to. I had a plan. You know what? I've just remembered what my plan was. And I'm going to put that paint aside just for long enough to institute my plan. I want some wet paint to pour the other paint over. This is my OXO omelet turning spatula available on my Amazon link right below the video. I don't want it to clash. I'm not looking for a background color just looking for paint flowing to paint and maybe paint helping paint sell which would be okay for me wouldn't bother me I don't know how wide I want that to go I don't really want it as wide as the dustpan itself and I don't want it super duper thick either because that dustpan is very full and I use GAC 800 in all my colors so that when I have something I want to do like this with the thick layer of paint added from the dustpan, I am pretty sure at that point, I'm just going to scrape that off into the water bucket you go. And here goes nothing. Here comes nothing. Here comes something. I'm going to try and let that paint go to the front and go over a little bit. This time I know I have some colors that are going to drain right out of that dustpan and I'm still going to be able to make them run because I have a wet black base. Also, I like how they're mixing. Because of the wet base, I may indulge myself and tip the whole thing back and forth. You'll see in a minute when I have a look not wasting any paint. That's pretty cool. I'm over here scraping up my dustpan because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link, so check it out. Along with the OXO omelet turning spatula and the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas and the gold mica powder. So, I've got paint down on this side. Ooh, I've got quite a bit of paint down on that side. And I have to decide what, if anything, I want to do. And maybe I don't want to do anything. Maybe I just like what I've got. Usually what I'll do is add some gold, but I think what we're going to do before we do anything else... Let's go ahead and see what happens when we torch to release the patterns in the paint. And probably a little agitation, a little tipping would help. And I'm tempted... just let my skewer do the walking, dip it in. I really just want to tip that. I really, really, really do. But I'm a little nervous about what it's going to do. But I haven't done it so... Yeah, I'm just going to let that all go over there. I'm going to have to rescue it in a second. The 
I want that to go that way. I'm watching how my paint is flowing. I had some beautiful cells. I really liked what I had. But since I haven't tipped before and everybody wants me to tip, I'll at least have to tip once. So what I want some gold. I always want gold in these. I don't know what to tell you. I just love gold and it seems like a good place to put it. And I like edging with gold too. This is my new batch of gold I just mixed today. Yes, I'm a happy gold edger. <laughs> what can I say? I'm not trying for, for perfection. Just some sort of rhythmic mo sort of movement of the feeling of movement. That's, those are the words I'm looking for. I'm looking for a feeling of movement. Now I can do stuff if I want to. I don't know that I need to, but since it's a pretty easy process, sometimes I just like to. I want some more gold right there. Do I want any more gold anywhere else? I kind of do, so I'm going to give it to myself. Now there's a lot of colors in here and I could probably blow that around quite nicely with a straw. But if I don't do that, I'm okay with it too. Because I like what I see and because of the GAC 800 I can keep it. My edges are kind of cool with some lacing. Oh, I don't want to drag that camera adapter cord right through there. I do see that I want something else up here. And that's not bothering me a bit. I could just do the whole thing and it would be making me pretty happy. And that's a little more even, although I think I want a slightly thicker line. Yeah, I'm not unhappy with that a bit. I'm just going to torch one more time and tell you guys, if you shop my Teespring below the video, you help me out. If you shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you below the video, you will find my book, this gold mica powder, my Princeton Artful Catalyst spatulas, my Oxo omelet turning spatulas, and any number of other cool items, including my Anita's paint and my Artist Loft, and a whole lot of things that I do use, including the folk art color shift paints. All right, so my recipe, my pouring recipe, is in the video description underneath the video, and you have to open show more. And I just need some spirals, because I'm that way. They make me happy, so I indulge myself. What else? I told you about the gold. Instagram and, int and <laughs> Instagram and Pinterest links are down with the Facebook albums showing all of the wet and dry artworks from my YouTube videos at the bottom of the description. Uh, volumes 1, 2, and 3. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. It helps my placement on YouTube. There's always a contest for anybody who is contributing to the studio and if your name is drawn any, in any given month <coughs> excuse me, you will be eligible if your name is drawn to pick one of three paintings that I am always putting up. One of three? Actually it's four in the month of February but who knows about next month. Yes I'm just playing now but that's okay because I can. I'm allowed. <laughs> it's my painting. I'll do what I want. kind of want some dots, actually. Especially there. A 
a few dots never hurt anything. Especially when you're covering up some black canvas that's um, got schmutz on it. <laughs> they kind of remind me of leopard or animal prints. Lead the eye around. Just add something different going on in the composition. What have I forgot to tell you? I do sell my artwork. If you're interested in purchasing anything, just contact me through YouTube communication and I will be sure to give you an email address and we can have a chat. I give lessons at the house and uh, you can do the same. What else? What else is there? There's nothing else. The, if you're looking for the playlist to see more of my videos, there's over 430 of them. There's actually actually 450 of them and 48,000 subscribers now. So if any of that interests you, keep watching because at the end of the video, the last 20 seconds shows end screens that include my playlist, my web, my web page, excuse me, my web, my web page, which is kind of much ignored, but does have an Instagram feed on it. So you can, you can cheat. If you don't want to join Instagram, you can always see what's on my web page by going there. I really like this. I'm good with the two different ends. I think it's really interesting. Um, this is, I just want to torch a little more, <laughs> which is okay. There we go. That's what I was expecting. The gold mica powder just rises to the surface which is unusual for a metal paint. And I do torch to release patterns in the paint, but mostly I torch because I shake my paints and they're all pre-mixed with pouring medium in them. And when I do that, I get air bubbles and I don't want them in the artwork. I am happy to think that nobody is going to think this painting is pregnant by any stretch of the imagination, so I'm happy. <laughs> I could tip all that so it flowed down that way, but that'll be another painting another time. I want to say thank you to all the people who've contributed to keep me painting since last, since April 2018. I've been making videos, and so I'm coming up on celebrating a year. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you for the contributions, and thank you for all the wonderful comments. I've really appreciated my time with you, and I hope it continues for a while longer. I don't promise. It's not quite as lucrative as I need it to be. I kind of need to do some other stuff. Namely, I'd like to get on with resin. <laughs> and I haven't figured out how to video that because I can't do it outside. So, cross your fingers and hope I get to keep doing this with you for a while longer. And now I'm happy. <laughs> That's cool. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Ooh, you're way far away. Let's see if I can adjust that a little bit. All right, so that's probably a moot point since the last 20 seconds of the video is all about seeing the end screens. That's everything I can show you for now. I could probably zoom in a little more. There's some great cells down at this end down here. So this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression to Start Studio Gallery saying, I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Watch some more videos. There's a lot of them. Thanks. Priscilla out.